we now learn how to deal with a logarithm whose base is a fraction. So let's go right ahead and learn the formula. If we have log base 1 over b of some number x, then this equals to negative log base b of that same number x. So for instance, say we have to evaluate log base 1 over 2 of 8. Then according to this formula, we can state that this equals to negative log base 2 of 8. And since log base 2 of 8 equals to 3, we can state that log base 1 over 2 of 8 is equal to negative 3. And that's the final answer. This formula also allows us to evaluate a logarithm whose base is a decimal. For instance, say we have to evaluate log base 0 0.2 of 25. Well, the first thing to realize here is that this decimal, 0 0.2, can be written as a fraction. Indeed, 0 0.2 is equal to 1 over 5. So we can rewrite this logarithm as log base 1 over 5 of 25. Now that that's done, we use the formula that we've just seen to state that this equals to negative log base 5 of 25. And since log base 5 of 25 equals to 2, we can state our final answer as negative 2. Okay, now that we've seen the formula, let's quickly see how it's derived. And I'll just quickly go ahead and say proof. Let's say we know that log base 1 over b of x equals to some number which we'll call p. Then log base b of x will equal to some other number which we'll call q. Now the idea is to rewrite each of these two equations to make x the subject. And to do that, we're going to rewrite each of these in their exponential form. So let's start with this first one here. We can rewrite this as 1 over b raised to the power of p equals to x. And since 1 over b equals to b to the power of negative 1, we can write this as b to the power of negative 1 raised to the power of p equals to x. In other words, b to the power of negative p equals to x. And I'll just go ahead and box that first result. Doing the same thing with the second equation we have here, we can state that b raised to the power of q equals to x. And again, I'll box that result. Now, looking at these two results, we can see that both of their right-hand sides are equal to x. Consequently, both of their left-hand sides must be equal. In other words, we can go ahead and write b to the power of negative p equals to b to the power of q. Since both sides of this equation are written as powers of b, we can get rid of the b's altogether and state that negative p equals to q. In other words, p equals to negative q. But remember, p was log base 1 over b of x, and q was log base b of x. So we've just proved the formula. Indeed, this is the same thing as log base 1 over b of x equals to negative log base b of x. And there we have it. We now know how to deal with a logarithm whose base is a fraction. We've seen the formula, and we've worked through two examples. The first example, remember, the base was a fraction, and in the second example, the base was a decimal. Finally, we've seen how to prove the formula. And that's it for this tutorial.